So, hey y'all. This is another drop. I keep telling you, I'm coming with them. This story is actually about the time I saw a ghost in my sister's house. <laughs> uh, what happened is, I have an older sister who travels with her job, and she had a young daughter at the time. I think she was a freshman in high school. Um, so she was going on a business trip, and she needed me to come over to her house to, to uh, basically babysit babysit my niece or just just look over make sure she got to school home make sure she ate so anyway uh i get over to her house she has a nice big house upstairs and downstairs and a basement and me and my niece are just hanging out all you know all throughout the day and then when it was time to go to bed i slept in her mom's room and she of course slept in her own room and then um, because of the way her mother had her bed, she had her head, um, uh, next to the door. I don't like to sleep with my back to a door, my, my, my head to a door. So I slept at the end of the bed. Something just popped up. So I slept at the end of the bed facing the door. Okay. So I get into a little nice little sleep. And the next thing I knew, I hear some pacing, like pacing, um, in the hallway in the hallway, I'm like, well, how could somebody be making that kind of noise on carpet? So I'm just like laying there, laying there. And next thing I know, I see a lady walk past really fast. And she looked pissed. Now, mind she, mind you, she was dressed like one of those Little House on the Prairie people. Y'all know, you know, with the little old-fashioned shirts, the long billowy uh, skirt, and those weird boots that they wore back in the day on Little House in the Prairie. So anyway, I was, uh, I saw her, and she just kept pacing up and down the hall, but she wasn't like hovering in the air like a ghost or anything. She was like walking up and down, like she was mad at somebody. I'm like, who the hell she mad at? So I'm laying there, and at first I was like trying to get up, but I couldn't move. It's like somebody was holding me down. I'm like, who the fuck is holding me down? And she just kept going and going. I kept watching her, and the hallway light was on, but it wasn't on when we went to bed. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I start screaming for my niece. Here, Mind you, I'm supposed to be there watching her, but I'm screaming for her, not because, not because uh, I want her to come save me. I want to make sure she's okay. So... Uh, I scream and scream and scream and obviously she didn't hear me. She didn't come. So that, that, that this pissed off the lady obviously more. She kept walking up and down the hallway. And the hallway's pretty long because it's a pretty big house. It's a, you know, a pretty big house. So the hallway's pretty long. But she's pacing, 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 get madder, madder, madder. And I'm just like, Shh. And I'm still trying to get up, mind you. Somebody's holding me on my shoulders, on both of my shoulders in the bed. And again, I'm at the end of the bed looking in the hallway with the light on, which I know I didn't leave on. And then, so I finally, I don't know. I finally, I was like, well, shit, she, what I was thinking while I was laying there is like, okay, this, this house, this whole property, this whole subdivision over here used to be on the farmland. So I'm thinking, damn. Maybe it's one of the, one of those people that are mad we're here. We're on their property. You know how you hear how people get mad. They come back and kind of show themselves in the form of a ghost. And I might, I don't believe in ghosts, but that night, I believe that that lady was mad and she was mad that we was on her land. So that's what I think. It was like an old farmland and now it's a subdivision with all these houses and she want her property back. That's all I could think of. That sounds crazy, and I'm not crazy, but damn, you know, it's like, damn. So, anyway, I don't know what happened after that. I did try to get up. I did try to get up, and I don't think I was ever able to get up because I was, like, pinned to the bed. But eventually, when it got light outside, I woke up, and I went to my niece's room, and I was like, the strangest thing happened to me last night. I heard, I said, did you, first, first, first thing I said, did you hear me screaming? And she was like, no, I didn't hear you scream. She said, I said, I was screaming because I saw somebody pacing the hallways. And they was mad. This white lady was mad. <laughs> and I, you know, I ain't got a problem with white lady. She was just a white lady from, you know, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, it would have been a white lady probably in her property back in the day. So she said, oh, she stopped. And she's like, I thought I was crazy. She said, I've seen that before. I thought I was crazy, and I ain't tell nobody. But me, I'm like, shit, I know I, I don't believe in ghosts, but I ain't afraid of them. And I told her, she's like, I've seen that lady before. 
I said, and then we just tried to put two to two together and made up, you know, our stories just matched up. Mind you, I didn't know she's seen this ghost before in this house, but she's seen it multiple times because she lives there. This was my first night there, and I'm thinking, okay, maybe I'm just having, you know, weird premonitions being in somebody's house or whatever. But once she told me, that lady was real, and she was pissed off every time she came, you know, every time she came to the house. So, y'all... I don't believe in ghosts, but I do believe in spirits. So she was a spirit in the house, and she didn't want us there. I don't know if we ever shared that with their mother, her mother either. Uh, when she came back in town, I don't think oh my hair. Anyway, um, I don't think we ever shared that with her. If she did, I don't know, cause you know, I don't know. The lady was just pissed, and the fact that my niece had the same vision or same view of this this mad lady. Confirmed everything. Spirits, I do believe in spirits. I do believe that they come back. I don't believe in ghosts, but I guess ghosts can be spirits, whatever. People call ghosts spirits, spirits, ghosts, whatever. Uh, but anyway, y'all, that's my, my story. I'm sticking to it. I swear I'm sticking to it, but let me know if y'all had any stories like that in y'all lifetime. Come across any ghosts. I've never, that's probably the first time that I've ever seen a vivid, vivid picture of somebody down to the details of her dress. And like I said, she looked just like one of those women on Little House on the Prairie. Now, now if, you, if you're too young to remember that, Google it. Google how those with Laura Ingalls, Google how she looked or even her mother looked. How they dressed, even down to the boots, the dusty boots that they wore. This shit is real. Tell me your stories if you've ever had one. Ex share that story with me. I, I'm, I'm excited to even, you know, talk to other people about their stories. Again, I don't believe in ghosts, but... I believe in spirit. So anyway, uh, again, this is another, another drop. I will talk to you the next time. Uh, as usual, I don't like saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway, because that's just the way you do it on the real YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, share, share your stories. Share with me, share with whoever. I ain't crazy. I know I may look crazy, but your kid is, she ain't crazy. She just, um, want to share a video with you. So until next time, peace.